So let's talk about uploading files to Blackboard. Um, Blackboard will display any PDF file, um, Word files, PowerPoint, any other Microsoft Office file, uh, and most other files will not display within Blackboard. And typically it'll uh, require students to download it. Um, this is this is good for things like a schedule, so if students want to um, edit the schedule or modify it uh, to their liking, or if you have a template that's part of an assignment that they need to complete. Otherwise, most of the files that we upload, we want to be PDFs. That way they display in Blackboard and they don't require students to download them. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Um, let's look at both. The first is to use the build content um, file option. Here it will ask you for a name. So let's uh, say a syllabus, for example. Um, you'll browse your computer. Um, we'll just use this one. Um, this is an article I've provided for my class. You can ask it to open in a new window, which I don't mind because that leaves the student in the place or wherever they were at within the course. Um, we have to choose to make it available and we can track the number of views. When we click submit, we should see that that PDF is placed in the course. Um, accessibility issues will be noted with this icon here and you can click um, alternate formats so students can obtain a mp3 version of the text file, um, braille, um, or html. Um, and then once they click that file it's going to display it uh, this way. So that, that was in a new window. Let's see um, if we choose to make it open in the same page. Um, let's look and see how that works. What will happen when students click that is they lose that place within Blackboard, but it does um, give them this nice big view of the file. And it looks like it's um, loading, so probably a large article I gave to my class. Um, so just to kind of recap that process, if you want to upload files um, within Blackboard, it's going to be build content and file. And then it really just depends on whether or not you want it to open in a new tab or within that uh, particular space in your course.